Some of the children here do face uh, quite a bit of adversity. We have the gangs. We've experienced shootings in front of our door, prostitution across the street. I mean, just so many things. But still, we are able to remain positive. It's with our after school programs, we have an opportunity to take kids of the East Side community and provide enrichment activities as well as academic support. And mostly, we provide strong mentorship. With this program, you have an idea. Well, you, you know where your child is. You know what they're doing. You know what's going on, and you know that it's productive. They have tutoring. They have help with their homework, reading, math, science. Like my oldest son, he was behind on math and some reading, so he improved that. There's always a new dance. There's always a new friend. There's always a new song they've learned. There's a different skill they master that they didn't know before. And you know, it's just exciting to them. It's something else to do. When kids come to our building, they have the opportunity to come right after school. And we decided a few years ago that we didn't want kids walking home at nighttime. Um, every day we load up all the kids that come to our program. Uh, we drive them to our program, and in the evening, we drive each and every one of them home. The school system, uh, being as tight on money as they are, it cut a lot of the music and drama and, and things of that nature out of their programs. And so we've decided very consciously that we're going to try to take up on some of that. We actually contract with local agencies that provide professional artists that come in. You know, they provide professional dance, professional music, um, professional art. After the after school program, we have our basketball programs. Boy Scouts, um, a girls program that we have going. Anything that we can to make them an all around better person. The police have been with us now, I believe, four or five years. And they have just been phenomenal. This program allows children to see us as human beings, too. And so they don't always look at law enforcement as, as the big bad guy. They're actually able to work hand in hand, side by side, with this officer. You know, and that is just awesome. Everyone there is associated with the community. They live in the areas. They see the kids outside of school. They know the families. So they're, they are the community. If the Salvation Army was not here, like I said, this neighborhood would be, uh, you know, it, they would be hurting. They, they really would be. I always tell the kids, my payment is later in life when I see them going to college, working a job, starting a family, being a positive outlet to society. Being involved in the Salvation Army actually gives my little girls a chance to see that there's other things outside of life other than being out on the streets and, you know, having no other choices or goals. I want them to have a good education and to be what I can be, so... I'm trying. <laughs> uh, we try to show them that no matter what's going on in their lives, we love them. We see a need, and uh, we try to meet need where it is. I've got 85 kids that'll be in our building tonight that I know will not be on the streets this afternoon, uh, that will not be at a house by themselves this afternoon, uh, that there'll be someone here helping them with their homework. There'll be someone here playing basketball with them. That dollar that you give yesterday helps us today to be able to take care of that kid. They'll go home tonight and know that someone cares about them.